What's up, everybody? This is Steve, and I'm a guitar player from New Jersey. And borrowing from my friend Steve from Boston. What's up, dudes? Check out the new axe. And I think he, then he does one of these. And uh, yeah, Steve, I think you'll appreciate this. So what I have here is a Charvel. It's a Pro Mod, and it's a SoCal. It's an HSH. It's got Seymour Duncan, uh, the distortion pickups in it. And uh, it is a five switcher. And uh, I didn't really anticipate buying this guitar. I had a long history with flirting with Charvels. So long story short, flashback to, you know, me being a kid, which is like 18, 19, I had two Charvels, a Model 1 and a Model 3. Unfortunately, both of those were stolen. And I had been kind of longing for another Charvel, but everything that I have played Charvel-wise in the last 10 years, literally, I've been going back and forth with this for 10 years, I hadn't found one that I liked. I hadn't found one that played well. I hadn't found one that sounded well. I just didn't gel with one. So this particular one was at the Guitar Center in Paramus. And it's wild because it is, it was listed as excellent, which sometimes they can be wrong with the way that they list things, but there is literally not a scratch on this guitar. This guitar is literally showroom clean. Uh, it was set up prior to somebody selling it. And it looks like from what I can tell, uh, not a single scratch on this guitar, which is really weird because it was on the lower rung at Guitar Center used. So the whole thing with my experience in buying this was I went in there just to try because I had seen that it had been there literally since July or August of last year. Went in there and I liked it actually when I first played it. And at the time, uh, one of my friends who is no longer employed there, um, you know, unfortunately couldn't do any deal on it because they had just gotten it in. So I forgot about it. Um, and then come around to the weekend, I was looking on Reverb. I had a couple of drinks on uh, Friday night and uh, I went on Reverb and I'm looking and I was just like, oh boy, that's dangerous. And uh, I went back and then I went on the Guitar Center website and I saw this guitar was still there. And I remembered liking it, but I just didn't want to pay at the time, like 950, I think it was. I saw that it was 750 and still it was a little bit more than I was comfortable paying with. Mind you, Reverb has, uh, I believe, like some San Dimas uh, guitars and their new guitars. A couple of retailers are selling them for six fifty, and I see a lot of used stock between six and seven hundred. So I was just like, "All right, there's something going on here." So when I went into the Guitar Center in Paramus, I noticed that not only were the Charvels on sale, they were on clearance. Uh, I noticed a lot of guitars were on clearance. So I really do think that this post covid guitar frenzy is is over it's definitely over if you're looking to buy a guitar now's the time it's definitely a buyer's market the seller's market is done um i went in there played it i was in there for 10 minutes and i knew i like this guitar is great but i wanted to see what else i could get on this guitar so i respectfully went up to the clerk i didn't know this young gentleman but i just said look this guitar is great, but I wanted to see if there's any way you guys had any room on this. And, you know, totally cool if you can't, but I wanted to ask because otherwise I'll just go to Reverb and pick it up there. So I said, if you can, cool. And he said, look, yeah, he was very nice. And he had, you know, said, yeah, let me check with my manager. And I waited 10 minutes and he came back and they knocked off 60 bucks. And I, I got it for, uh, I think it was 690. Um, which was great. I was very happy. Uh, you know, if I'd gone to Reverb, I probably would have gotten it for around the same price. Also factoring in, uh, you know, the shipping. And then if I didn't like it, the return, uh, which is very possible. But the thing that I liked about this was that I played it. I liked it. And I don't know if any guitar, it's so weird to say, would be this clean. It was on the lowest rung in the store. I don't understand how this guitar was this clean being in Guitar Center. Um, no dents, no bangs. It looked practically unplayed. 
I brought it home, changed the strings. I thought it was uh, nines on here, to be honest, the way that the string tension was in their tens. Um, I put the tens on and I didn't really even have to do any adjusting. It was just bizarre. Everything on this guitar uh, has been a dream. So the more I keep playing with it, the more I keep bonding with it. So after a weekend of playing with it, uh, my only indecision yet is do I want to keep it for the sole reason of do I want to spend $700 in our economy, which is, you know, uh, kind of one of those things where if I let this go and I send it back, I may not get another deal on this. I may. Uh, and not that I'm worried about spending $700, but I, uh, you know, I'm an adult. I have a house, I have a family and you know, $700 is $700 in this economy. So that's my real factor right now for deciding whether to keep it. But the more I play it, the more I fall in love with it. And it's been a joy to play. Uh, so what's the last guitar you bought? Have you played a Charvel? What do you think of these kind of guitars? For me, this is great. I've enjoyed playing it. And I look forward to, uh, definitely playing it as much as I can and I have to make up my mind on what I'm going to do with this guitar but if I do bring it back someone's getting an incredible clean guitar which is just like I said so bizarre to think that this guitar was at Guitar Center uh this long and no one had played it or tried it or bought it so it's mine for now and hopefully I'll make that decision when it comes and I'll be sure to share with you guys what I do thanks for watching <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.